everyone <clears throat> my voice is very coarse there welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing well thank you ever so much for clicking on this video and tuning in today if you're new here welcome my name is barbara i go by the name of simple yet stylish and i upload fashion content lifestyle content and interior design so if any of those topics are of interest to you make sure you hit the subscribe button and for my returning subscribers thank you ever so much for your continued support so as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my updated makeup routine. Now I filmed a makeup routine, I believe in 2018 or 2017. It's been a while, either way, it's been a while. So the update is long overdue. And over time, my makeup routine necessarily hasn't changed, but the products I use has definitely changed so i'm really excited to share that with you guys so without further delay let's get straight into the video and let's do this tutorial okay so we're going to kick things off by priming the face now i never used to prime my face before with a moisturizer i used to just prime it with a makeup primer and at the time that worked for me but over time that completely changed so i'm using the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base um, this is absolutely fantastic. When I first started using it on my face, um, it was fine. And then I noticed after a while, I don't think it was the face base moisturizer though, but I feel like I, at the time I thought it was. What happened was whenever I would use it, I felt like my face would become really, really oily, really, really quickly. And um, I would get these sort of like really nasty sweat patches on my face and stuff like that so i stopped using it and i noticed that there was no change so i sort of went back to it but what i do is i just apply a little bit on my face i don't actually apply a lot but i would definitely recommend this for um a moisturizer slash primer if you are looking for one and then i'm gonna start off by prepping my brows so i used to use the was it estee lord or lancome I think it was Estee Lauder. It was a pencil by Estee Lauder, which was like, and I still believe it is like the best pencil in the game, but it cost 20 pounds. And I used to buy this pencil for 20 pounds until I noticed that there were so many other dupes in the market. So I decided to switch it up and use the Brow Define Eyebrow Pencil by MUA. And this costs, I think right now it's like, I think it's one pound fifty i'm not sure i haven't bought it in a while because when i do buy it i buy loads so i don't need to keep going back and buying more but it comes with a spoolie at the end as you guys can see and i'm just using that to brush my brows in place or what's left of my brows in place and then on the other end is the pencil so i'm just gonna go in with really really light strokes because before where i used to sort of like completely outline the bottom of my brow and fill it out probably from like the core three quarters or middle to the end I don't do that anymore because I really try and achieve a more sort of um natural look I don't really do much at the end so you can't really see much of a difference but there is a difference and then after that I just go back in with the spoolie and just brush it back into place. I don't know why my voice sounds like this, guys. It sounds really husky, I don't know why. And then next up, I go in with the e.l.f. Brow Lift Gel. This gel is absolutely incredible. I've raved on about it, I think on my Instagram stories. Um, again, I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, which costs a little over 20 pounds but this is the perfect dupe if you want some if you want a product that basically does the same job lifts your brows freezes your brows keeps them in place in um however direction you brush it in and you want it for less than 10 pounds or fraction of the price and then i apply it onto the brows with a spoolie not sure if I mentioned that, <laughs> as you guys can see with this fooly. So I think I put too much on the first one on my left, my left brow. 
I'm just gonna brush a little bit off away from that so I'm not sure if you guys can see but the brows are slowly defining now got a little bit of definition in there now so it looks better than before I think anyway so next up using an angled brush and my MAC NW45 Studio Finish Concealer, I am going to tidy up my brows. This is my favorite part. When it comes to makeup, my favorite part of the process is the eyebrows. Always has been and always will be. I just feel like with a good set of brows that suits your face, your makeup is just guaranteed to just, actually no, that's not always the case. Sometimes well every part of the makeup process is important from blending it's all important let me not lie but for me the brows is just it's just my absolute favorite part i'm just tidying that up okay and I know it's not, look at me about to dip this into my powder. I know it's not fully done yet, but even when the lines are underneath the brows, I get excited because I can see it slowly coming together. Now I'm just going to drag that down and blend it out and get rid of that harsh line. Guys, do you know what? I still find it kind of difficult to get rid of the harsh line, you know? Whenever I do my makeup, I notice that the harsh line is still harshing under my brows. And there was one particular day I decided to brush it out or buff it out even more. And I ended up smudging my entire brows. The makeup mistakes that I make here, they're just so clumsy and so unnecessary sometimes. It doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, let me continue this off camera. And then I'll come back to you guys with the next step. Okay, now that's somewhat complete, I'm gonna go in with the angled brush again. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of the concealer and apply it onto my eyelids. And this is just gonna help get rid of the dark situation that I have on my eyelids. And then now, I'm going to go in with this brush from Real Techniques. I don't know the name of it, guys, but I've had it for a very long time. I believe it is part of the eyeshadow family and I absolutely love it. And using the um, Professional Super Setter Setting Spray by Benefits, yeah, Benefit, I'm going to spray that and then blend everything out. I'm sure you guys know that you can also use your concealer as an eyeshadow base as well. I don't know if I should apply eyeshadow today, actually. The thing is, I don't really wear eyeshadow. I hardly wear eyeshadow, to be honest. I can count on one hand the amount of times <laughs> I've worn eyeshadow, but yeah, I'm just using this brush to sort of blend and buff everything out. Remove any harshness from the brows. Yeah, that's okay for now. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but obviously the first product I applied was the moisturizer. So now that I feel like that has sunk in a bit, I'm gonna go in with my primer for my makeup and it's the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. Cosmetics. Now, a while back, I posted a very, very horrific picture on my Instagram stories where I had a major, major, sorry, I'm just applying a little bit of that on my face and i um, just going to use my fingers to rub it out or shall I say spread it out on my face. But um. I had a major, major, major makeup malfunction issue, right? I put my makeup on as usual, but it was a hot day. 
a very hot day, a very, 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 very hot day. It was during the summertime. And as I was, this was at home, by the way, so I didn't actually go out, thank goodness. I wouldn't have stepped out of my house anyway, but as the day went by and I was shooting content and everything, I started to sweat. And next minute I noticed, this, I could feel the sweat coming down my face. I said, okay, let me blot it up. So I've gone into the bathroom because obviously I'm wearing makeup. I can't just get tissue and, you know, swipe my forehead. And I see sort of like a drip outline on my forehead. And you could see like my natural face and the makeup was slowly dripping down. It literally looked like someone was pulling the makeup layer completely off of my face. It was so horrific. And so I stood in front of the bathroom, um, in, in front of the mirror, um, obviously the sink basin is right underneath the mirror and the makeup was dripping off my face into the mirror. That's how bad it was. And I said, oh my goodness, how can this be happening? And you know, when you start to feel tears building up, <laughs> I'm laughing now, but obviously at the time it wasn't funny, but it was just such a dramatic moment for me. But I was, um, I could feel the um, makeup dripping off my face. And I was just like, this is not life. This is not it. This is not it at all. This is not it. And I was literally in tears and I just ended up wiping my face, washing the makeup off my face. But before that, I did document it on my phone. And one day, I, d I had no intentions of sharing it on social media, but one day I just thought, you know what, forget this. Let me ask my fellow social media friends if they can help me out with this problem because this can never happen to me again. This can't happen to me when I'm outside. It can't happen to me when I'm outside, you know? So that was absolutely horrific. And I feel like that was because at the time, the primers that I was using just wasn't working for me anymore. I was using the, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name, but my mind goes so blank nowadays. And it was just in my head a second ago. It's a brown, a brown, um, I can't remember the name, but I'll insert a picture or um, the name on screen. I was using that primer at the time and it was a proper mattifying primer as well as the H&M mattifying primer too, which I think they've discontinued, I'm not sure. But after a while, it just wasn't working for me. So that was absolutely horrific. But anyway, um, I think we're gonna do small eyeshadow guys. Very, very small eyeshadow. So I bought this palette the Morphe 350 Supernatural Glow palette. Never actually used it before, so this is my first time. And I think it's a really nice palette with a range of colors to choose from, as well as um, colors that are suitable for the melanin queens. So we're gonna go in with, what palette should we, what palette, what color should we go in with first? Okay, so using my eyeshadow brush, this tiny one, and this is the one I'm gonna use throughout the eyeshadow process, sorry. I'm gonna go in with Paradox, this one over here. So let's get a bit of that on the brush. Ooh. On the entire eyelid. I like that. It's like a browny, orangey type of shade. Just for the record, by the way, this is an updated makeup routine, but this part of the process is not my usual. I've just showed you guys a new palette, so um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Mm, it's kind of giving auntie vibes okay next i'm gonna go in with sighting over here the brightness i'm gonna make it my mission to practice this year 2023 practice my eyeshadow looks so that i can become a perfectionist for my face because 
I love eyeshadow and I love a neutral a neutral eyeshadow look I might even get classes because there's a lot of talented makeup artists out there that teach you know they have these one-to-one -one classes so I might just have to do that next up I'm going in with I'm gonna go in with rare one which is over here this one here and I'm just gonna pat that oh pat that on the eyelid do you know what because this is being documented I really hope and pray this comes out nicely you know because let me tell you something let me tell you something let me tell you something all right let me tell you something let me tell you something I'm not about to wear false lashes and that's the thing as well I like my whenever I do have eyeshadow on I like to apply false lashes just to add that more volume to the overall eye look you know but today I ain't finna do that so let's just pray this comes out right okay so now that I've patted that on I'm gonna blend it out and then I'm gonna go back in with paradox which was the first one that we used just gonna go in and blend that again just very lightly blend it out guys do you know who is the best at eyeshadow looks and is so creative Nikita Bafo she is oh my goodness every time she uploads I get excited honestly I've literally saved every single one of her makeup tutorials especially the ones that feature sort of like unique very vibrant bright beautiful eyeshadow looks bold eyeshadow looks i've saved all of them on my instagram but have i ever even tried one look no i've listed all well because i've got them saved and she lists everything in the captions the captions are very detailed i've still got them all saved in my notes like yeah i'm gonna buy this eyeshadow palette so that i can try this look have i tried any of them no this year i'm gonna make it my mission i'm going to make it my mission to improve on my eyeshadow looks i think that's it you know guys i don't think i'm gonna do any more i don't think i'm gonna do any more actually i think i'm gonna go in i think i'm gonna go in with secret potions over here just a little bit of secret potions just a oh that's a lot okay i'm gonna go in with a little bit of just to blend you know just to blend okay i like that blend out the entire look and we're done we're done with eyes i don't know if you guys can see any difference because <laughs> mickey and see i can't see anything okay so that's that now onto the face. So as you guys saw, I primed with the e.l.f. Grip Primer and now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm going to be using um, Born This Way in Spiced Rum mixed with Huda Beauty in Fudge. So I'm gonna mix these two together and then I'm going to apply that onto my face. I'm just gonna pump a bit onto the back of my hand one pump of each is fine not even a whole full pump just a little bit so you've got that there and then using my stippling brush from real techniques i'm just gonna apply that onto my face i've sprayed the brush by the way with the same benefit setting spray i'm just gonna go in with that sitting here being so nosy i used to use the um mac studio fix fluid something something <laughs> in nw47 right and that has been my go-to foundation since 2008 guys and i recently stopped using it in 2021 sorry guys we just ran out of um 
memory there but as i was saying but i felt like it wasn't working for me anymore and i felt like at the time my whole makeup routine not makeup routine makeup the products i was using for my makeup none of them were working for my skin anymore none of them were working for my skin and it's like i had no idea what it was i probably could have gone and seen a specialist about it but i just thought to myself let me try out different products myself let me speak to the girls online and see if anyone has experienced what i'm currently experiencing etc etc and if i can get any help and whatnot and i feel like i have so um at the time i think it was it okay so i say this a lot in my videos you know after i gave birth after i gave birth but guys i don't think some of you know or understand the changes that comes with being pregnant having a baby after that the changes that take place in your body on your body inside overall it's a lot and even though that was my third pregnancy my third child oh my gosh I'm messing up my scarf i had never experienced that before you know and i just feel like the pregnancy played a huge part in you know my hormones and the balance of my hormones and sort of everything changing from my skin to how my skin reacted to certain products etc and i was just like no i need to make changes so i decided to try a different foundation and last year well this is a 2023 video so in 2021 when my cousin got married i got my makeup done professionally by nikita barfour and she used these two products for my foundation and she blended them so well together because another thing was after i gave birth my face was one color my neck was another color and my chest was another color and i did tell her that i don't like putting makeup on my neck i like to just keep it on my face and at the time obviously prior to giving birth i was able to just apply it on my face and it was it, you know same color as my neck and that was okay with me but that wasn't an option for me anymore so i'm just removing my scarf to make sure that i get my hairline properly but yeah that wasn't an option for me anymore so in the end she blended these two and used it and it was the perfect shade guys it was the perfect shade and then after that i just went to self-produce i bought me some and i've been using it ever since so my makeup products prior to giving birth except for literally the eyebrow pencil and my pressed powder i would say and my setting powder everything else just wasn't working for me anymore down to the setting spray because i used to use the mac one and that wasn't working for me anymore see i've still got some foundation left on the back of my hand well so so i'm just going to leave my scarf like this because i want to leave my hair um covered up but because my flyaways literally fly away it takes time for them to properly settle down but following on from the amazing experience with the um born this way foundation i decided to try the concealer as well so i've got the shade mocha and this is what i use under my eyes to conceal and it comes with the applicator so i just brush a little bit of that under my eye and then using a very 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 damp damp completely damp um sponge i just blend that out very lightly you guys i think you guys can see my hands are wet that's because i literally soaked it i did not spray it with a setting spray i ran it under the tap and wet that whole bad boy and i just use that to blend out the concealer under the eye i just love how this um defines your face i feel like it adds like a little sense of youthfulness 
<laughs> don't know what I'm talking about. Guys, I cannot see an ounce of that eyeshadow. And that's what I'm saying. I like to... Um, I love a whole neutral look. Sometimes I feel like the bold colours and stuff is just a bit OTT for me. But when I do these neutral looks... Sorry, I'm going to take the scarf off now. I feel like my hair's all right. When I do these neutral looks, yeah... I'm just like, what did I just do? <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, so one of the few things that hasn't changed about my makeup routine is the fact that I do not add concealer on the bridge of my nose, forehead, top lip, and my chin. I just literally want to conceal this part of my face. So um, that's that. And I've also stopped contouring as well. I don't know why. I just don't want to so um going in now with my laura mercier setting loose setting powder um i'm just gonna apply a little bit of that under the eye but with this one using the same damp sponge i'm also going to apply some here as well because this does actually help with the and over here as well. this is my area this is my problem area once this area starts to bubble up with little dots of sweat that's when it prompts the rest of the face to just destroy me so I'm gonna go in with the setting powder over here and do you know what I'm gonna add a little bit on my forehead because Sometimes when I'm wearing makeup for like long hours in the day, this area likes to get sweaty. And you know, when your forehead is big, everything shows. So <laughs> I don't keep that on for long. I just keep it on literally for a couple of seconds. And then, sorry, I didn't wash this brush, but I use my Kat Von D brush. I can't remember which one this is, but I'll link it down in the description box below. I've had this for a long time, guys. Do I love this brush here? Yeah, absolutely amazing. I just use that to brush everything off. So I don't bake. Is that what they call it? Bake? I don't bake for long. I don't bake for long at all. That's probably another reason why my face likes to act out of control and stuff, but there's been time actually to be fair i don't think so because there has been times of late where i just didn't bake at all and i didn't have the whole sweat problem so now using the same brush i am going to apply my mac dark deep mineralize skin finish love this i've been using it for a very long time as you can see just gonna go in lightly with the first layer and then the second layer I'm going to use this um, foundation powder by Patrick Stars brand one size and I got the shade deep two so love it i'm just gonna go in with that second foundation powder layer so that's that and then go back to the eyes i'm using the big lash reloaded extra large volume mascara by revolution i've had this for quite a while and i really like it just gonna apply a little bit of that So that sort of amped it up just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. So that's that for my face. Obviously, it's left with my lips, which I'm going to do in a second. But um, another thing as well, lately, I have not been setting my face. Once my makeup is done, I don't set my face. And I feel like, again, that has been working for me. But today, 
I feel like I'm looking a little bit cakey and setting it does kind of help bring it down a little bit and add a slight bit of dewiness to it. So I'm going to set it with the professional again, like I said, well, like I showed you guys before. I'm going to cover my eyes because I don't want to mess that up and I'm going to cover this bit as well because I just feel like when any sort of like setting spray or anything touches this bit after I've applied 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 foundation and the powder foundation it messes it up so I don't know how I'm going to do this I think I'm going to have to like tuck my lips in but oh, let's see I've just basically sprayed up my entire hand yeah so that's that i'm not taking any more i'm not taking any risks i'm not adding any more it's enough i don't know if we will see a difference if we do hallelujah if not it is what it is but now i'm gonna go in with my lip products so i will be using the eyeliner pencil by mac called costa riche to line my lips i should sharpen this Add a little bit. And then now I'm gonna go in with my lip gloss from Kiko. Just gonna apply that onto the top and bottom. And it sort of like blends out the pencil. And then now going in with Fenty Beauty Unbutton. Apply that on the center of my lip. Just dab that on. And then blend it out. My goodness, I don't even know if you guys can see me properly, but okay. So that's it for the video guys this is the finished look i hope you guys like it it's very simple like i said i like to keep my things very very minimal and i am nowhere near a pro when it comes to makeup so for me it's all about improving as time goes by and finding products that work for my skin um whenever i do leave my house and I have to wear makeup and I'm going to an event for an example the products that I always carry with me is the one size foundation powder um my lip products the three that I showed you guys and um my mascara I hope you guys like it it's cute it's giving minimal it's giving cute um it's giving what it's supposed to give so yeah please subscribe if you haven't done so already make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below let me know if there are any products that were included in this video that you use let me know if there's any hacks tips tricks that you can recommend for sweaty skin not even oily but sweaty skin and yeah share this video with anyone that you feel will benefit from it or will enjoy it and i will see you guys in my next one. Bye.